Привет, друзья! Hello, friends. I'm Irina Forlova, and you're watching a show about stylish decor with the Ukrainian accent that you can make yourself. Today we're going to create another masterpiece. In this case, it will be a home decor with spikelets. My guest, Alexandra Dainko, will tell us how to make it and how it will look when it's done. Hello, hello, let us begin! Excellent! What will our composition consist of? Our composition will consist of the base, which will be a board. We are also going to use decorative jars, paints, paintbrushes as auxiliary elements, and the spikelets are the main element. Yes, a symbol of Ukraine. It is one of the most important ones, right? Let me understand correctly the tools we will use in this artistic process very briefly. We have scissors, you've already mentioned the brushes, and twine. We also have a surface that will replace place a palette for us. And there is some cool instrument that I don't know the name of. What is it? It's a construction stapler. It'll be useful for fastening the ropes that will serve as supports. Great! The main thing is to avoid injury, right? So where do we start? We're going to start with painting our wooden board. We take our palettes and apply paint on them. Look how cool we're standing together. I'm a lefty, you're a righty, so we shouldn't get in the way of one another. We squeeze the paint from the tube onto the palette. It seems to me to be a kind of an unearthly color, right? Yes. Did you choose it specifically so that it would harmonize with the spikelets? Of course. We also take the widest brushes possible in this process. Right. There's also water, so we moisten the brush. I have my own water. We immerse the brush in the paint and start painting the wooden board. When choosing wood for the base of the composition, we focused on the softness of the material, as we would have to affix the decor elements to it. So we decided on pine wood. You can buy a wooden board like this and have it cut at a construction workshop. We paint it from all sides, and if we want the structure of tree itself to preserve its original look, we simply add water to the paint. Alexandra, tell me, how do you choose the boards for the base of your work? That depends on our objectives. That is, if we want our final product to have a rough decor, then we use unpolished boards. But if a more elegant decor is what we need, then we must strictly use a sanded board. Now we take the jar and see where we want to place it in harmony with the composition. We make barely visible marks with a pencil and don't go over them when working with paint. We can write or paint any phrase or image that we feel is appropriate on the remaining section of the board. Since our composition will include spikelets, it would be logical to write something that is associated with them. Let's think about what is associated with spikelets. For me, it's family. For me, the association is with wealth. Let's write those words in Ukrainian. Okay. In order for the writing to look neat, we outline the words with a pencil first. Then paint over them. Alexandra and I choose black paint that would contrast with the composition. We need to use lots of water for the paint so that it will be easy to apply to the board. That means we have to regularly dip the brush into the water. Next, we will decorate our board with the jar itself. We're going to need a meter of tourniquet to fasten the jar. We wind it two times around the neck of the jar and tie it with a tight knot, leaving tails of the same length. We put the jar where we made the marks. We move the ends of the tourniquet to the back of the decor and clip them together with the stapler. Then we cut off the ends.
Now let's attach the support. We take about 2 meters of tourniquet, form it into the right length and attach it to the board so it isn't drooping on either side due to the weight of the jar. Now the finishing touch to our composition. The spikelets, yes. We need to shorten them so they can fit into the jar. Right. The decor with spikelets for home is ready. On the one hand, it was made using the same base. On the other hand, we've ended up with two different compositions. What do you think? Can we hang them next to one another? Of course, they look very harmonious next to each other. And listen to these words, friends. Family and wealth. They're in Ukrainian. And if you are a Ukrainian, and Ukraine is dear to you, then no matter in what corner of the world you are, such decor will always warm your heart and soul.